Early in the morning, in the morning. What's going on people, it's your boy Cam Topical Juice. I'm currently in a different setting right now. Now, first things first guys, there is no conspiracy. There's no conspiracy. I originally agreed with a lot of my fellow content creators and a lot of people on social media that there was a conspiracy, that there was a producer-led involvement in this Love Island, right? <clears throat> no, there is no conspiracy painting Shaq in a bad light. Shaq is just moist and it's as simple as that. Listen guys, producers can do a lot of things. They can chop and change angles, they can push fake narratives. They can show you in your worst light. They can tell you to talk about certain things. But guys, they cannot put words in your mouth. And Shaq, he is a bitch. And it's as simple as that. Now, I went on Twitter for the first time today, guys, while the episode was going on. And the only opinion I saw was that Tanya was in the, was in the wrong. No. No, guys. This guy, Shaq, talking about, oh, you're talking to me like a child. How did you talk to Ron the day before? How did you talk to Ron the day before? Like a child. So shut your mouth and take it on the chin the same way. Because if you're such a big bad wolf who can tell people how it is, tell people straight this, that and the other, but you can't take it yourself, you're moist. Shaq, I'm officially done with Shaq personally. I respect everyone's opinions. I know Fred Stones was riding for Shaq. I respect that. I've got no problem with that. Each to their own. I've got no problem with difference in opinion. That's fine. Me personally, guys, I am done with Shaq. So cool. Let's get into this episode, guys. Like the video for me, hit the bell to be notified for me and press that subscribe button for me, guys. Now, first things first year, I want to make a point that I didn't raise yesterday. Tanya, as much as I believe that Shaq was at fault for Tanya going, Tanya also has to take the blame. After the whole Tanya and Kai situation flopped, Tanya didn't really put herself out there and do what she could to stay. I mean, admittedly, she said that she's not gonna force it and I respect that about her. She said she's not gonna force it and that's it. But ultimately, if you're not gonna try and get to know other people, etc., etc., then it is what it is. You're also a orchestrator of your own demise. But guys, let's be real here. Let's be real here. If Shaq did not put that stuff in his ear, Jordan would have picked Tanya. Fact. We knew episode before that he said that him and Ellie don't have a connection, it's just platonic. He would have 100% picked Tanya. He didn't because of what Shaq and Tanya said to him. That's a fact. So I blame Shaq still, but Tanya certainly has a responsibility. Shaq is a big man. If you think that the producers are controlling everything and conspiring against the black man, no. I am all for riding for my nicks. Why do you think I've got a black power fist yeah, with broken handcuffs. I, I, I inked that on my skin seven years ago. I'm a real rider for my community. But what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna stand for someone who literally is displaying some serious red flags here. You can disagree, that's fine. That's my opinion, guys. More importantly, Tanya proved it. Tanya's response to how Shaq acted proves that there isn't a conspiracy. It's not the, it's not a conspiracy that, oh, the camera angles and the producers are, no, 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 no. The fact that Tanya actually highlighted Shaq's energy towards Ron and how weird it was and how personal it was, yeah, it proves it's not a conspiracy. It proves what the camera showed is how Shaq is actually moving, guys. And that's that's the way it is, yeah? We're not gonna stand someone for black love. I'm sorry, I can't do it, I can't. You, you might think, oh, you might hate me for it, you might disagree with me for it. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't beg someone. We are going to hold our community accountable. No one told that guy to say what he's, he's been saying over the last few days. I'm going to skip, this episode was kind of boring as well, so I'm going to skip past a lot of things. Lana and Ron's talking about how Lana's wifey material, whatever, whatever, Ron. All that, all that loyalty that Shaq has shown Tanya and all this, that and the other, yeah? Where's that got you? Them two ain't going to work and they're not going to work on the outside either because Tanya is second guessing herself. And you know what, guys? Tanya is my episode's MVP, 100% undoubtedly. I have been I have been holding Tanya very accountable for her actions against um, uh, Shaq and how she's disrespected Shaq in the games and all these things. But this episode, Tanya, you are the MVP undoubtedly. You're the one that called out Shaq and you said it how it is. And this whole idea, yeah, that she spoke to him like a child and she had and she had to double up with Lana to, 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 to talk to him is absolutely pathetic. I saw people on Twitter saying, yeah, Tanya's unbelievable for that. Tanya's unbelievable for that. What are you talking about? Lana literally was involved. The reason why Shaq called out Ron is because he was talking to Lana. So Lana's got every right to get involved. Not to mention they were in the conversation together. It's not like Tanya needed Lana there for the support. Guys, come on, let's be real here. It's nothing to do with talking to a man about a child. They literally had an opinion and they shared it with him. Shaq is so insecure that he got his back up. 
He was like, oh, oh, I felt like I was a child. Oh, I felt like this. Oh, don't talk to me like that. What are you talking about? You you think you're this big man who's the only one to talk to talk to people and tell it how it is. I'm the only one that told Ron how it is. And as soon as someone tells you how it is, you can't hack it. Shaq, I cannot believe how far you've fallen in my estimations. It's crazy. Shaq, you're not it. You're not it, bro. And you, you, you're, you're, you're talking to Ron like he's a little bitch. And then you've got the audacity to, to, to say to Tanya and whatever that you're talking to him like a child, that she's talking to him like a child. It's embarrassing. I'm sorry, Shaq. You've got, nah, I'm sorry. Forget, forget Black Love and all this and Shania and all this, that and the other. I don't want, I want the first, the first black person to win. I want them to deserve to win. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to beg someone just because they're the same skin color as me or what the same community is, man. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. Shaq pulls Ron, right? And at the start, he starts talking about how, oh, you know, at the start, we were close. And as time's gone on, we've grown further apart. And this guy actually, actually thought, this guy actually said it was because of Lana. My brother, you are moist. If it was because of Lana, yeah, yeah, if it was because of Lana, you better let that go because Lana has moved on with Ron about a year ago. Lana accepted Ron for his mistakes and they moved on. But the fact is, if you're holding on to such anger when the person, when the victim in the situation has forgiven, then move on. It's not what's it got to do with you. If Lana's moved on, yeah, you move on. It's that simple. The fact that you had actually had the audacity to say that it was because of Lana that you're, you've got a negative energy towards Ron, you're a liar, bro. You're a liar. It's because of the whole Casey situation. And Ron actually said that. He said, ah, oh, I feel like it was because of Casey, though. And it was. It's as simple as that. That bitch-ass motherfucker Casey somehow got in everyone's head. And I saw someone comment on my video today saying, oh, no, no, I disagree, disagree with you. There was a divide before. I know there wasn't. The divide came when Casey joined. It's as simple as that. And Ron, I agree with Ron. Ron said, listen, I felt like you found Casey's opinion more important than mine. You know, I felt like you took his side. You just supported him. And the fact of the matter is, guys, it's as simple as this. Shaq just doesn't like Ron. He liked Ron at the start and then he realized his energy doesn't match with, with Shaq's energy. Shaq looked at Ron's energy, he realized it's not the energy that he likes and he doesn't like Ron. There's nothing wrong with that. Shaq, if you don't like Ron, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't blame you, like I'm not gonna hate you for not liking Ron. But if you're such a big bad straight talker, say it how it is. Say it's because of Casey or say it's because I don't like you. Say, you know what Ron, I liked you when you joined, but you know what, boy to boy, I'm not gonna be your friend after the villa. So we'll be civil in here and we'll keep it stepping. You ain't trill. You started leaning on Lana as an excuse of why you, you had a divide with Ron. It's fake. Now Shaq, Lana and Tanya speak. And Tanya, my MVP, calls him out for being rude to Ron. And I said it yesterday, if you had spoken to me like that, Shaq, we both wouldn't be in the villa. I would, you would be, you would be in the hospital and I would be arrested. It's as simple as that. You don't, don't you dare try to sun me like that. Don't you dare try to sun me like you did Harris, yeah? And then you have the audacity to say that Tanya tried to sun you and Lana tried to sun you. I'm sorry, guys. I know there's going to be people, people in the comment section that disagree with me. That's fine. Each to their own. Like, don't come at me in a, in a negative way. You can agree, you can say whatever you want to say. But guys, I'm completely done with Shaq. Forget all this black um, bias. I'm done with Shaq. He ain't, he, ain't who, he ain't who I thought he was. As a grown man, why would you want to click up with another group of men in the villa? It's moist. You're coming across that Regina George. That's who you are. I'm going to call you Regina George. That's as simple as that. You are now, forget Shaq Olivia, you are Regina. You're a mean girl, bro. It's as simple as that. You're a mean girl. A man thinks he's, in fact, my, my, big up my guy Yoms, yeah? Yoms called um, Shaq Hitch. He said, this, this, this wet guy thinks he's Hitch. Getting it sticking his big mouth in everyone's nose, thinking he's some love doctor. No, so, so you, you and your love doctor ness, you better go back and focus on your own relationship because you are you are displaying some serious amber slash red flags here. You can't take criticism. The girls go for their cocktails, and Olivia's uh, Ellie's talking about how she feels deflated. Whatever, get out of here. In fact, thank God Ellie's out of here. Olivia's talking about, oh, my hard shell, my hard shell. You are not hard, you are softer than baby shit in a nappy. Stop talking about hard shell. Yeah, stop talking about hard shell. What do we know about shells? Like fucking snails, they get stepped on and cracked. You're moist. Get out of here. I'm done with this girl. Anyway, I'm actually done with this whole show, guys. I don't like this season. It's one of the worst seasons I've ever seen. Casa Amor ain't gonna save this bullshit. Tanya, and this is what I rate about Tanya, right? Again, I've been the one calling out Tanya. Who was the one on Tanya's neck when she disrespected Shaq? Me. So I'm not trying to be no, I ain't biased. So anyway. Tanya says with the girls, she goes, I'm still learning who he is. And that's very real. 
Because when you're in a villa and when you meet someone for two, three weeks, you're obviously going to put your best self forward. You're marketing yourself. But the reality is, guys, yeah, the cracks are starting to shine through. And she is now saying, honestly, that, you know what? I'm now starting to doubt this relationship because he's displaying certain energies that I don't like. She called him out for saying, listen, exactly what we said in the video. It started off as a joke, how she called out Ron. But then all of a sudden, huh? He starts getting serious. You didn't need to take it there. You didn't need to boy off Ron like that. Yes, we know he should have done the dishes, but don't try and sun him. What you need to look at is consistent patterns. You need to look at consistent behaviors. Who is the person that constantly tries to sun people? It is Shaq. Cast your mind back to Harris. It was Shaq. Yes, we we, we gave him credit at the time, but really think back to how it played out. He tried, and I called it, I said it. In fact, I said it in the video all the way back then in the first week. And I had a hell of a lot of people in my comment section saying, nah, he wasn't trying to sun him. He wasn't patronizing him. I said in my video, Shaq, as much as I agree with you, you patronized um, Harris, you did. And, I, and I'm just so glad that I, I'm so glad that I stand on my morals and I stand on my opinion because everything that I thought I saw four weeks ago has actually come to light now. He did try to, he did patronize um, Harris. And, and that, that same energy that he showed Harris, he is now displaying that with Ron and displaying that um, with other people as well. Shaq even starts crying to Will saying, oh, you know, I didn't feel like they, I didn't like the way they handled it. Now guys, I'm not gonna cuss Shaq for feeling the way he feels. If he feels patronized and sunned by the girls, then, then so be it, I can't disagree with you. But the fact of the matter is, you, you, did, you have done exactly the same thing to other people and worse. So if you can't take it, yeah, that's a you problem, bro. Ron and Lana speak and he basically says like, you know, it's not really as awkward as much between me and Shaq, but I feel comfortable enough to say, you know what, Shaq, if you say something like that I don't like, I'll I'll pull you up on it type thing. But I, guys, I can't lie yet. The, every episode that goes by, I have to give Ron credit. Ron is doing what Shaq can't seem to do. He see, he, Ron is, is biting his tongue more and just trying to say, listen, I don't want no beef. I'm literally in the villa. I just want peace. Literally, I just want peace. And... I rate that, I do. I really do rate that because I would have booted off um, on Shaq if, if he had spoken to me the way he spoke to Harris and spoke to um, Ron, 100%. Shaq and Tanya speak again and he basically explains that he felt that he was being told off and that he was cornered. And she basically, and, I, and you can see in her face, she's sitting there, she's sitting there like this. And, the re, and you can see what she's thinking. She's thinking, I need a way out. And, that, and that's a fact. I, I've literally, I've, I know exactly what she's thinking. She's thinking, this ain't gonna work. And she's, she's seen things that remind her of her ex. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, Tanya, I don't like that. You telling a man there's traits that I, that I see in you that remind me of my ex, I don't like you saying that. I think if you're gonna say something like that, cushion it a bit better, soften it a bit better. Because as a man, if I hear you say that, that's gonna get my back up. What do you mean? An ex is an ex for a reason. Do you understand? You, that, what you're saying is you're, you're telling me that there's traits in me that you don't like, that you're, that you, that you break up with me about. And that's fine. That's fine to tell me that, yeah, but don't say it like that. Don't tell me I remind you of your ex. I'm going to call you out for that, Tanya, because I don't, I, don't, I don't like the way you said that. I think, guys, when it comes to speech, it's not what you say, it's not why you say it, it's how. The most important thing when you're engaging and you have a dialogue with someone is how you say something. That, that you, can, you, can, you can do your research, do your research. That's, there's been studies, there's, that, the most important thing when you have a dialogue with someone is how you say something. Because you can say, I can say to you guys, listen, yo, um, yo, um, subscribers, my juice heads, press that subscribe button, press that subscribe button now. Or, juice heads, Press that subscribe button now for me, guys. I said the exact same thing, but the difference was how I said it. So I think there's nothing wrong with Tanya calling out Shaq and saying, listen, there's certain traits that you're displaying that I don't really appreciate, but don't compare me to your ex. I don't like that. So I, I'm happy for Shaq to get annoyed at that. I've got no problem with that. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm not a Shaq fan no more. I'm anti, I'm, I'm anti Shaq. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, so I'm anti Shaq. He literally, said he literally said how he felt like he was being getting told off how did you speak to ron i think even davy said it in her video or is it sarah destiny or is it she came tv i don't even know big up all them girls but one of them one of them girls said it felt like he was you were you were trying to sum him you were, you were talking to him like a child so it's ironic now that you're annoyed at tanya for talking to, for, for calling you out 
on the same thing basically like it's just it's interesting still it's interesting like the fact lana at the end of the day yeah lana was involved in the situation if lana feels the type of way and wants to kind of say her piece as well then so be it there was no it wasn't no two it was, guys there was no double team it wasn't a double team it, it really wasn't i'm not gonna blame shaq for feeling the way he feels it's just ironic that he feels that way considering he did the exact same thing 24 hours prior anyway the dumping comes around and i'm just gonna skip past this it's cheerio 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 oh man jordan oh man Jordan, 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 I am so glad you've gone home because you you added nothing to the show, bro. All you are saving, saving Ellie, saving Ellie to, to, to dump Danielle and look what happens, look what happens, man. Look what happens. 24 hours later, you get the dump as well and I'm so glad you did get dumped. Cheerio, mate. Literally, Ellie, cheerio to you as well, man. You, you offered absolutely nothing as well. Waste, man. Honestly, both of you are waste, man. Honestly, both of you are waste still. Um, karma is swift. Karma is so swift, guys. But anyway, I'm just gonna end on this. This whole idea of a conspiracy is bullshit. Sorry, and and, and I'm not saying that's it. I know a lot of my, my fellow content creators believe there's a conspiracy. I'm not saying your opinion is bullshit. Of course not. I respect all of you. I'm just saying it's not true. The producers are not putting words in Shaq's mouth. The most a, uh, the most a producer can do is camera angles and um like a uh, uh sh like shape the conversation they can say oh Shaq and olivia go and talk about something 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 but they are not putting words in his mouth and at the end of the day guys if you're used as a puppet by the producers it means you want to be guys cast your minds back to all the other seasons people that have come in and left without even knowing they were in there we would be like oh what happened to bob what happened to tom dick and harry oh oh Ah, they, they were in here, then they left. Do you know why? Because there's people in the past seasons who don't use themselves as puppets for the producers. If you are a puppet for the producer, that's your fault, my bro. There's no conspiracy here. Shaq, you're just trash. And you're a hothead, and you think you're a straight talker, and you're not. You don't like, you don't like being told the same thing as other people. Yeah, he's the most alpha in the, in the villa, because he's the only one kind of who's got the balls to call people out. But like Tanya said, pick your fights, my friend. You just seem to, you, you seem to want to prove that you're a straight talker. You like to prove you're the only one who can tell it how it is. Uh, nah, you're moist. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next video. Um, oh yeah, by, uh, got away. by the way, Shaq was my donut of the day. But honestly, guys, I, I, I'm forgetting to do donut of the day these days because this season is getting shit. But Shaq, you're my donut of the day. Moist. Peace.